So this tutorial is going to be in two parts. At first, I'll give a quick breakdown of how I made this scene, and then you will see me build the scene step by step. A slower approach, that we take our time and we build the scene together. It's gonna be render and chill time together with Plan Dreams. Enjoy. So I start by bringing in my LiDAR scans that I took for in Topanga Lookout. And this is actually the second time I tried to do this, and the first time I tried, it kind of got turned into a scary horror kind of render. But this time I tried to do something more peaceful. I position the assets as how I imagined them in my mind, and after that I talk about overlaying graffiti from the graffiti drugs onto another photo scan that doesn't have any graffiti on it. And we make that rock fit in with the rest of the graffiti drugs. After that, I make the ground and shape it. Then I bring in a picture that I took with my phone as a background picture, and then we use it as an HDRI to light up the whole environment. Then I add fog and then fire and some sticks and pine cones to make the fire feel more realistic. And then I put some rocks around it. Then I bring in a photo scanned ground. And by using Polygonic's Botanic add-on, I put in some foliage here and there, some trees in the back, to give it more depth and life. We add some grass, with also again Polygonic add-on. And then there's a lot of fine-tuning. Then I bring in another LiDAR scan I made, That's it was a really nice looking tree. I bring that in, then I put in the camera, add some noise to the rotation so it, it has a floaty feeling. Then we went outside and my friend got a photo scan of me, and then we bring that in, clean it up, rig it up, add some animation and do some final touches here and there, and then that's it. Before we begin, I wanted to jump in and say, do not go into this expecting a beginner's tutorial, because it is not. In fact, it's not a tutorial at all. It's more of a walkthrough of how I made this scene, and uh, more of a render and chill. So my hope is that you learn things along the way, but you enjoy the ride. Uh, sit back, relax, grab a drink if you want, and let's, let's render and chill. Today we will be visiting Topanga. It's a long drive up in the mountains, but it's a really nice hike, and at the end you come up to these graffiti trucks. And up there I got some LiDAR scans, and by using these LiDAR scans we will try to create a peaceful environment where somebody runs off to maybe a place that they chill. So we'll try to create that environment with the scans we got and some other extra assets. So let's start by putting our assets in a place that we like. So I'm imagining that this path continues to like somewhere higher. Maybe we can make these stairs a little bit higher like that. And then there's another stairs there. And I'll make the ground in a bit. So what I'm imagining is this is like a spot this guy comes in and he he spray paints these. Uh, this is where a place that he comes to relax or just taking a view. I'm imagining like an ocean view. That's what we had in the in Topanga, but it's, it's rather quite um, far. I'm imagining this will be like a closer to the ocean kind of thing that nobody has discovered yet. But this guy. There are some holes in this mesh like that. So I found a technique to use an asset in many different ways that I did in my previous one. So here, here's how. Let me show that first. So if you have a rock asset, I'll just use the one I made. This is a photo scan. Uh, we want to make this fit in. So I'll take this image, paste it over here, and then let's mix the two. And to mix them more properly, so well, here is that image. What we need to do is go into object properties and add another UV map. And then here search for UV map. Connect that to the graffiti rock one. Choose the new UV map we just made. Unwrap while the second one is selected. And now if we overlay this image somewhere, and the thing we have to change is this mix should be color only. And then bump it up to the max. We might need to change their location and here we go. 
then just like that we can overlay some of that graffiti on top of this and this is gonna give us a new asset and let's try with some something else so i shift d and copied it not alt d if you do alt d it's not gonna work separate the material there and for the second one let's get some graffiti from this one so i'll copy this image onto our second rock and just like that you can see we can use this rock multiple times there it is this i think this is the one and just like that we use the same rock but they look totally different and we can keep making these assets from just one rock these are looking quite washed out so i will use a curves adju adjustment to make it a bit darker that's that's looking nice and i'll do ctrl g to turn this into a node group and i'll copy this node group and so if i want to make any changes later on let's say hue saturation adjustment i can put this there adjust the saturation all at once or the value oh this one is missing now let's make the ground I'll add it on plane. And in my asset library, I have textures from ambientcg.com, I believe. And I'll make some adjustments here using Uber Mapping. If you don't have this, this is free by Polygon, Andrew Price, Mr. Blender Gru's company. So I'll make the scale like 10. And then you see it's repeated, but if you change the mosaic rotation and mosaic noise, the repetition kind of fades make that repetition go away even more i'll subdivide it a bunch of times and then using proportional editing let's pull up some of these geometry up so the stairs make sense let's set a subdivision surface if you press ctrl and one on your keyboard it's gonna add a one level of subdivision surface but while adjusting turn it off so it doesn't like the computer look at that difference let's figure out our camera angle so i'm thinking something like this for now this will probably change but this is what we're going with for now i scaled the negative one in x-axis because I really like this graffiti and I wanted to see it. So my thinking now is I'll clear this area out and that's where the view is going to be. Okay, the biggest trick. Images as planes. Some pictures I took with my phone. So what I'm looking for is that we can see a bit of the mountains and the sea. Let's try this one. It can be better, it can be better. Wait, wait, wait. So go under visibility, ray visibility, uncheck shadow so it doesn't cast any shadows onto your scene. And in the world settings, let's just use this image. Check out the name, copy that, go over there, paste it. Now it's using that image. But I'll just use this background and it's kind of upside down. One of these rotations could be this, 180. Let's see, looking like the right way up. So if we add a sunlight now and try to position it like how it looks like in the picture, let's make it like exaggerated so we can see the sunlight better. Something like that. It's like setting, right? So maybe it just hits this these rocks ever so slightly from that angle. And if we change the color to be like that, it's going to be warmer and nice. Let's make that three. This picture, let's make it three as well. That's too much. Let's set a curve. Bring it down a little. And at the end, we will add the secret sauce of a fog. Let's see, let's just add it for now. 
So we see, have a look. So in my asset library again, I made a basic fog. It's a really easy setup right there. Copy this. And that's how you make a really nice fog. And with the fog, it's it's gonna marry the background and the foreground even further. Also, feel free to change the color here. So let's try making it warmer. You can make it like colder. And what does that do? It makes it purple. That's an interesting look. That could work, but let's let's match the if you hover your mouse over a color, you can copy it and paste it. Let's make it lighter. Bring down the saturation. Slightly warm fog. It's already looking cozy and nice. I think at least. And we can make the person sit on this rock. Like right there. And then we can have a fire here. So they're enjoying the fire and the... Yeah. So I don't know about this. Let's try placing it behind. Fog. And I'll put this up there. Turn it off for now. So for fire, like last year I made some fire assets. And I've been using them. And now it doesn't work. We need a setup. Um, it's an ad shader. That it's an old group just like this. It is very simple. Emission, transparent, with an ad shader. And then they're connected outside so the color and the strength are here to plug something in so we plug in the color to there and there to there and then you can adjust the strength that's what it is if we add rgb curves there can darken it a bit and then let's make it like nature here we have some ground scans and some stuff we can burn so let's get our pine cones there <laughs> Okay, this should be enough for now. And let's place some of the other rock photo scans right there. So it looks more like a campfire. Nice and cozy. Okay, that, that should work. Let's get our focus on the fire there. We can make the fire smaller, actually. Let's add some sparks too and the shader editor i actually like shader editor when it's there alt and right click and drag and we have the sparks there let's let's just isolate the sparks and see how they look like so it's this way Another tip and trick time. So if some of the video assets are going out of the boundaries, here is what I made. I think you can make this inside Blender, but it was too much of a hassle for me. So I made it in After Effects. This, it's a faded circular mask. By using this mask and using transparent, let's say transparent, mix these two and mask it with this. See where that is. So that mask already looks like that. That's pretty good. We can make it a bit smaller even. That's good. So now the white areas will be visible and the black areas won't be visible. Let's see here. Let me just exaggerate it so we can see. So it's hitting the edge there. And it is not hitting the edge anymore. So I'll make it I'll make it the emission strength too. It's nice and peaceful. We can put the smoke in front of the fire, maybe. And finally, let's for our ground scans so this foreground is looking real because trying to copy real ground i found is quite hard even with pbr materials so a scan like this can do a lot of heavy lifting this is a quite dense photo scan many things in this scene are quite dense and i don't have that powerful of a computer but my 2070 mobile on my small little laptop seems to handle it well. And just like that, we have a peaceful scene. I will be adding on top of this. I do not yet know what, 
but this doesn't feel final this is not a final and also something that we can do that will quickly improve it is the glow which is just a glare node here with a fog glow medium 0.6 and 8 we have a glow which in my opinion improves it greatly but also messes with something there let's see without it with it this part is beautiful there's something goes on there so i'll mask it out actually you know what let's try to mask it mix that and use that and and why doesn't it mm, change it around oh would you look at that it just affects this area and anything outside it doesn't affect this is without this is with 